Yeah, okay. So, so I would so. be the little guy making the potions. And you, you would feed me the potions, basically. Okay. Oh, as we say that, five-man smoke, LBZS going up to high ground, but they're also five here waiting oh for them. Oh, God. Two-man stun from Lanham. MS. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> They get the kill there on the MS, a good way to start for Aster. Unfortunately, our summoning powers are just not good enough I mean, to bring in the, the pound. We don't even, you know. Ultimately, we don't need them, you know. I wasn't going to say it out loud. I was just thinking it. I know, but that's what I'm here for, you know. Like, you are the smart guy. I'm the guy that conveys the message in a not-so-smart way. Yeah, the break room's going to be tense when we come back. I, I didn't say it, guys. I need you guys. But also, I look a lot more intimidating <laughs> than you. Look at the three or four a, spark yeah. rates yeah. on the you're, you're not getting that rune. No. You better not forget about it. As I said, he just walks in and tanks all of them. There are three heroes here. Yeah, they're trying to tank him. Swashbuckle in. Monet in a little bit of trouble, but another two-man stun coming up from Lanham. And they'll get the kill on a Monet. So now both our carries have fallen, and it looks like Lanham's going to die too. Yeah. Man, this is Fall all of a sudden oh, two kills for LBZS. Impale. Catch him. Oh. That's three for three on two-man stuns. Yep. If he dodges the roll, he lives. Oh. Can he dodge it? No! Oh. On the roll, on the bounty rune, too. Yeah, 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 I mean, it's hard to dodge because you obviously do want to secure the bounty rune. They end up with three bounty runes, so it's not the worst trade. They don't get any blocks in the lanes. The support is going to come late to the bot lane, to a Rave King who already died first blood. So. Right. Overall, not the worst thing that can happen. Obviously not what you want, you know, but... Yeah, this, this mid lane should be doomed, just completely free farming. Puck does not put out enough damage to harass him out of lane, ever. But we said that last matchup where we thought TA was going to have a good time and White Album is just showing that he's the better player and, sure. you know, was doubling CS. Yeah, I mean, Puck is a hero you can definitely have some outplays on. It's just, Doom is a very simple hero, you know, you eat creeps, you have HP regen and you right. farm. That's really all you do. And then later on, you are very good to Doom. That puck, of course. I quite like Arc Warden against Doom in general because obviously you don't ever want to Doom a clone. That makes absolutely no sense. So it's one of the better heroes against Doom. And just overall, the team fight is going to be very hard. You have the arena, you have the bubble to worry about, the Phoenix Egg. Lots of uh, positional abilities from the Dire team. Uh, even Dream Coil as well, Nyx Assassin. It's just a very obnoxious time to play against. Oh, Spear land. damage. And MS taking a lot of damage, still moving forward. Borax thinking about maybe continuing to put the pressure on MS who pops that self. Yeah, there's a lot of combos on both these teams. You've got Double Doom with the classic. Soul Bond and the Doom. Yeah, that's a classic. Then you've got uh, even Dream Coil with the Spear to break it. Yeah. You know, Dream Coil getting Arena down, Spear breaks the coil, slams him into the wall. Yeah, potentially an Earth Spirit that can cause a lot of chaos. I mean, both lineups do have the potential to win team fights, of course, but just Aster looked pretty unstoppable lately, so. Yeah. There's nothing in me that makes him believe that they shouldn't take this game. Oh, Nyx Assassin up towards top, taking a lot of damage. Lanham on the run. One more hit. Cat U diving in forward, and Lanham might be able to stay nearby and potentially get another stun, but the roll comes out. The Spike Carapace hits on a both. Both these heroes are low on Aster. Swashbuckle comes in, wow. and it'll secure the double kill for Irving, taking out both Monet and Lanham, and he just pops a salve. He'll stay in lane. Yep, the laning prowess from LBZS coming through again. We have seen it time and time again. Fire Blast, Inkswell, avoided with the spear. Good play there. It's a pretty strong lane, Mars Phoenix. Yeah. And despite all that, still in the lead, network-wise. Yeah, 4-1. Yeah, interesting. Uh, and, and a little bit of a net worth lead there for Aster. It seems like Mars does really well with a lot of heroes. Like the combinations that are viable in this spear. lane feel really good. And the spear, it gets the kill there onto MS. I mean, they almost get two. That was, yeah, I mean, bot lane is an absolute destruction there. I mean, at least top lane, you know, Arc Warden gets like a little bit of farm out. Even that lane is not the easiest for Arc Warden anymore because they did feed away quite a bit of kills. Four in total already. So they will probably have to rotate some heroes over in due time just to give that Arc Warden a little bit of a better time. Right. Because in the end, he still is a winning condition. But yeah, to your point, Mars is just overall a very strong hero. A lot of uh, nuke power, a lot of damage, a lot of survivability because of high strength gain. Mm -hmm. Repositioning abilities, two of them. It's just, he doesn't really have a weakness, to be honest, in the laning phase. You can secure every range creep with either a spear or a rebuke. 
It's a great hero. Rune coming out. Top. Earthstrip picked up a DD. They need to be really careful top. Yeah, again, they might end up going down. Or maybe even go after the puck. White Album had taken a lot of damage earlier. Maybe X feels confident enough to go for this. They have to be careful. Like, one lucky shot plus a DD Earthstrip hitting you is a lot of damage. Yeah. Double four. Roll. Yeah, there's the roll in. Spike Carapace with a two-man stun. Again, Lanham just constantly landing the two-man, but it's not going to matter as, well, oh, Irving yeah. is dominating. Ha. I must admit us. Pangolier is one of those offlaners with a good start. He can take over games all by himself pretty much. And a spear. Wow. There was such a good play. Stun out on the Burax. MS, though, still dealing with XXS. Inkswell, Inkswell that's going to pop onto the Mars. Be up in two, though. Yeah, Icarus dive across MS, and now God's Rebuke. Can you get the spear? It'll land again. It's the second time he's pushed out through onto MS. Yeah, and a full bottle of Mars Ooh. with a bounty room to refill it as well. I'm very disappointed. Really it was such a good play by Radiant. I don't know if people caught it, but he threw out a spear that would have stunned the Rave King, but they ate the tree that the spear would have latched onto, so right. the spear doesn't latch onto anything. Ba basically, like, making that spear useless. And then they just run in and die anyway. So uh, a good play turns into a, you know, a little bit of a... Miss per laugh. Yeah. yeah. Roll out on the line again. He's... He has to be careful. Kind of getting bullied right Lucky now. Lucky shot. Swashbuckle, disarm, now Double. back to back. Yeah. Oh, the neutral stomp. <laughs> He's okay with that. Give it up to the neutral. Talentless. <laughs> I hate that one. It always gets me. Is that a tilting one? Yes. Dream coil. Coil. Over mid. Sunray. Doom. Burning out pretty hard. They've got the silence of Wu's Do they have the damage, though? He's low. Icarus diving. Swell. That will potentially land on a one, and that one will be Borax. Doom was about to come out. Like his hands were up in the air already. Hands up. But didn't work. Cast animation is very long. Yeah. yeah. If that Doom goes out on the puck, he's dead as well. Very close call there, but do end up making it happen. You can see the Doom is very, very, very tanky. What's the longest cast animation? Of anything? Yeah. Is it Doom? Doom is definitely up there. Um. Probably, from ultimate abilities at least. He's very slow. Yeah. But not if you get the arcane blink. Then he's very fast. <laughs> Arcane blink on even Ravage is disgusting. Oh, he Monique, the real arc doomed. Ward. He's the only arc warden at the moment, only level five. Can they get the deny? No. Can't get the deny. Irving now. No coil. That was a waste of TP as well. There's Irving no only. Reason to really come over. The arena used. They've got this kill onto MS. At least both. Hard carries are struggling if you're <laughs> a fan of Aster. I mean, he's struggling even more than the Arc Warden, which is very, very surprising. He has 100 less snapwaves than Arc Warden. And Doom also, what? He's a thousand snapwaves behind Puck. I just saw that. Wow. How did that happen? Like, you get so much gold naturally just by eating creeps. White Album really, like, outplaying him in the second game in a row. Adam? Stunned, hit with the stroke of eight. Well, Our neutral's gonna take his life again. Yep, zero five. Man. Swell gets away from it. Out by Carapace, maybe spoke too soon. Zero five? Zero five. Huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, zero five. Yeah, Lanham having a little bit of a rough one here, but the team still. They're up 2k gold now. What? <laughs> the safe, they got destroyed so hard, and they're just up 2k gold. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, that's. Uh, on the back of White Album time. again as well. That and XSS. He's. I mean, XSS, I mean the bot lane is definitely owning. It's just. I don't know Radiant how this puck like, got so much more of the lane than Doom. Yeah. Who just naturally gets like 100 gold per you know, creep that you eat. On top of the CS. I mean, this Mars is going to be a menace. And so is the, the Pangolier. We, we'll have to see which of the offlaners is going to be able to do more. Although Mars is a thousand ahead. Off the Pangolier even. Yeah. He has five kills. Radiant's yeah. I don't know how that's possible. Radiant's Math is not my strong suit, as you guys have been able to tell throughout the two weeks. You're not the only one, don't worry. 
I was top percent uh, percentile for a long time, but that's not anymore. Uh, jeez, White Album jumping in aggressive just to die to the stroke of fate of Zhao Fu, and well, Lurex was right behind him, so they'll both die. Yeah, another very good play by Pangolier, though. As you said, uh, Puck overestimating himself a little bit. And they'll have to make sure to make good use of that Mars now, who is now DPing top. But they saw him. And Nyx Assassin's here again. Arena oh, no. Spear. Well, Adam, two man stun again. And now they've got the Arena as well. Is the Spear Soulbind keeping them close? Can you at least get the Double to Doom? You? Double Doom comes in as the rotation's out from X. And let's see, Ooh, missing the stun, but can't get the deny. Now Silence we'll up. look over as Silence hits on a white album with the Phantom's Embrace, jaunting away. Aster maybe overplaying their hand, they're overplaying their confidence. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised it didn't spear the Pangolier, to be honest, who was impaled by the Nyx Assassin, because that would have resulted in a kill. And the Pangolier is worth a lot right now. Like, yeah. you need to stop that guy. He's making too many plays for the Radiant team. That being said, though, Ark Warden did finish his Midas, and we all know how fast an Ark Warden Midas can farm. Now sitting Amazing at the Doom's net worth. Yeah, he's starting to catch up. Yeah. Let's see how they play the Ark Warden, whether it's going to be a more defensive or offensive style. Coil. Oh, used, but again, it's White defensive. Album. White Album. And caught out again. From zero to zero. Yeah. Seriously, game one, game two, here to zero. I mean, he played... Uh, Amazingly in the laning phase, but post laning phase, this game, he's rotations been have been mistakes. questionable, yes, and he's getting caught up quite a bit. Maybe a little bit cocky, you know, maybe. Top tower is Who knows? Having a performance like that, you might end up feeling a little bit too cocky. Who knows? The Knicks level six now, they're trading tower towers, and gone. suddenly the 2k gold lead is gone. Even. Yeah. Even game. Even Steven. Great show. MS over bottom, just trying to farm Lanham's here. XSS without the Blink Dagger yet. He's so close to the Midas. Oh no, if he dies here. He has ult, he has It's going to slow him down. He'll die for the first time. Can they get him a second time? Nope. Oh, Wraith Fire Blast is out with the Rolling Thunder. Massive rotation from LBZS. Yes, they know how important keeping alive this Wraith King is. Yeah. I mean, a lot of time and ults expended to just foreign reincarnation. Definitely not worth it. Like Their, their moves around the map right now are not very crisp. Astas, that is. LBZS is doing a good job at you know, regaining the momentum. They're doing very well. Rage King now finishes Midas. You don't think that was an overcommitment, though, from LBZS to bring four over? I mean, it was, but at the same time, there were also three there, so it's understandable, you know? Probably if they just brought like two or three, it would have also been enough. And I could have used the others around the map more efficiently, but. No, they're all in on that Rave King. He is the winning condition overall, so. Yeah, now he's got that Midas. Yeah, better be safe than sorry. But yeah, this Arc Warden is gonna be scary if they leave him alone in the triangle for too long. Yeah, for sure. So, MS, at least for right now, trying to maintain some stability in where he is in the net worth. He's sitting bottom five. LBZS go to the three-man smoke. Let's see if they can find anybody walking Radiant up onto the high ground as the Nyx Assassin breaks the smoke, goes into the Vendetta. He's dusted, silenced, in some trouble. Supernova comes out into a great spot. I don't even know if they'll get this kill onto the Nyx Assassin. Spike Carapace, Supernova goes off, and in too far is X. Xiao Fu dropping a White Album. Two kills there for Aster. Yep, Aster was ready for that. Nyx broke the smoke, and the entire team is ready to collapse. They fought inside a Supernova. They do kill the Nyx again, who's now sitting at 0 8. But yeah. Lanham's playing sacrificial. He may be 0 8, but he's still almost got as much net worth as Cat Year. Yeah, he's, uh, he's doing his job. He's going for a Falcon Blade while being 0 8 on a post 5 Nyx. Okay. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Okay. Don't copy that build in my pubs. Unless you want to be Overwatch cased by me. Griefing? Guilty. I had a guy in my game yesterday, Hoodwink, build short. Silence, Doom, all coming down on the White Album. Goodbye, Puck. And Puck will Deny. be denied. Nice. I know, making up for the OA. Agent L. 0-8, but always gets to deny on the team. This is the second one. <laughs> yeah.
fine. Yeah. I mean, they don't get much uh, from, from Kenyon. Uh, kick in. Yeah, on the Mars. Now in some trouble. Sunray on him, trying to keep him healthy. He's actually getting he healed up healthy. quite a bit. Coming in is Irving with Rolling Thunder, I believe. Oh, wow, yeah, the Mel's from Pro. He yeah. is going to go down there, and that was, I think, Vendetta yeah. hit as he tried to roll away. They've also got Jiao Fu. Yeah, and then the Maelstrom hit, or rather the Arc One hit, followed him for like five seconds and proc the Maelstrom. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Arc One now, Maelstrom might have completed going to the travels next, and he's just sitting in the triangle, making it his new home. Going to the boots of travel. They need to start invading this. Probably without the Rave King, he wants to farm his Radiance, but they need to stop this Arc One from just farming this triangle for as long as he wants to. Not sure they can at the moment. It's tough, especially against Puck. You know, Nyx is always there to scout. Mars Arena, scary. He has a blink dagger now. Puck, 100 gold away from his blink. Once those two blinks are online, scary town. I don't really like being in scary town. Yeah, scary town is a scary place to be in. Hence the name. Exactly. So 2k lead here for Aster. Glimmer Cape for Jiao Fu. You've got Blink Dagger finally finished off for White Owl. Yep, uh, smoked up here with the Mars Blink Dagger. Vendetta up in five, so they're probably going to wait for that. Supernova Arena, of course, one of the most potent combos in Dota. And they might just run into a teamfight that they really want here. They do have a sentry down, though, so Nyx will be spotted immediately. Mm, I don't know if they have vision on him at the moment. Oh, the arena, the arena with mi missing on Jiao Fu. They'll follow that up with an impale supernova. It's around these heroes. They may not be able to kill it. I don't think they're going to be able to supernova. kill it. They got the dream coil Ooh, just in time. Borax, Lanham, they both fall, but you've lost three heroes on the side of LBZS. You lose XXS. They still have Doom. That was only the reincarnation, so Wraith King alive again. Doom used, Light Album gone, four heroes dead on Aster in a little bit of a botched team fight. Yeah, Ark One. I feel like if they want to make that move, he needs to be able to join that team fight because if he's there with this clone, I think the team is going to go a lot better. We have a lot more damage while everybody's focusing the egg. And uh, yeah, I mean, we can see the team fight here again with the arena on everybody. I thought yeah. the egg was amazing, but they just got the kill on it. It was about to pop, and if that egg pops, the team fight looks completely different. But the way it stands, the Wift Arena really was too big of a deal. So close. Ah, yeah, very, very close. That wins in the team fight if that goes off. For sure. I mean, I think they have multiple conditions. First condition is Ark Warden is there to join them. Second one, that egg pops, and of course, the arena was a big blunder, to say the least. Like, you have Blink Dagger, you should not be able to, you know, whiff that hard. We've seen this a lot from Arc Wardens, though, where they're just so farming farming oriented and they don't yeah. come into these fights. And then it, at the end of the day, we watch these Arc Wardens having to defend the high ground instead of pressuring in a spot where they might feel strong. Yeah, but also every time an Arc Warden was successful was when he did not just farm, but joined his team yeah. in those fights, which I hope he's going to do now that he has the travels at least, because there's a reason you have a clone, you know? You are double as strong in a team fight. Don't just keep farming. That's not how the hero is designed, you know? But yeah, we'll see what he does. Monet is a very capable player, but not everybody is very comfortable on Arc Ward. It's a very, very special kind of hero. It's not your everyday carry. BKB picked up on Doom. Very, very strong timing for him. They have pretty much nothing that goes through BKB this game, other than the Supernova, so. Perfect item for him. Rave King went for an armlet rather than straight Radiance. Radiance. I, did he have Radiance queued up at one point? He did, he did. I don't know if I liked it because his team is giving him a lot of space. Doom! He yeah, did not manage fought. to BKB it off! Wow. He just got speared. And then they used the Soulbind. This is really defensive from Jiao Fu. They've got the leash on it too, these heroes with that Soulbind, but it doesn't look like Jiao Fu will survive the onslaught that follows. So. Monet, he gets involved for a little bit, gets a kill. Yep, and it should be a pretty free mid tower. They still have arena available as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, you you gotta be ready to pop that BKB as soon as you know you see that Mars be a fly out. Yeah, it's not easy, but you gotta be able to do it. Otherwise, they will just burn you down like they have here. Radiance middle tower has fallen. 
Three K lead now. Phosphor stone for maybe Lanham. <laughs> if Probably he wants to pick that up, where Falcon he's just blade. been a uh, Falcon Blade O. Oh, Falcon okay. Blade into Agonim. Oh, one nine and seven. All right. Yeah. I, I don't think he's gonna go through with Agonim's purchase. Technically, he's two nine and seven. He got a nine. He got two denies. Actually. Oh, okay, so he's three nine and seven. Yes. <laughs> very very efficient team player here. <laughs> Does that show on the scoreboard? Denies? No, it does denies? Not. That should. It should. I, I also think it should. Obscure stat, I also think it should show how, how many seconds you stun people for. Like a disable stat. Yeah, I wouldn't mind that. But it doesn't. Because that's something to talk about, too. Yeah. Disable time. It is. Stun time, silence time. I don't Smoke like to up it. again. By four here from Radiant, all except the Rave King. Just rolling in. Okay, for that bounty rune timing, of course. Pangoli picked up the blink Dyer's dagger. Middle tower has been it's assassin going. Radiant's Falcon blade. And they run away from the rune. Huh? Okay. Dyer's bottom tower I guess Rave King picking up one. Radiant's that is so risky. But not a bad play, not a bad idea. Like, Rave King is posturing very aggressively. And they get four bounty runes. Oh, wow. Okay. So, Aster. Very yeah, scared. Well, yeah, scared and loose on, well, I mean, getting any bounty runes. Yeah. Uh, four bounty runes is a big deal at this point. Uh, it was a 2k net worth, uh, net worth switch shift instantly. Hmm. And, uh, getting deeper and deeper into the game where they are worth more and more. Yep. Mars working on his BKB. Have the Mjolnir here for Monet. I think there was a glimpse of hope that he's going to get involved in these fights with that transition into the mid lane. Where he helped out over mid. They got the kill out of the Doom. Doom now has a Blink Dagger, so probably securing the double Doom almost definitely. Roll in on the Mars. He has no BKB, no defensive tool. Yeah, kick in the magnetize, and now the geomagnetic grip. Boom, they'll committed. use the Doom. They're using a lot to get this kill here on to the Mars. They'll bring over the Tempest double, trying to do as much damage as it can. Meanwhile, over mid, they'll focus their attention on MS. Spike Carapace. Take the first life. They don't have Dream Coil to work with. Supernova in the back lines if anybody wants to move forward, and they might. Irving is in a pretty bad spot. He gets stunned up by the Supernova. They've got the stun on the two with the silence onto the Pangolier. They'll get the kill on Irving. Take away his 10 times speed. That goes to Monet. Whoa, Nelly. Best target. Or rather, best hero to get it on for the Aster side and worst for LBZS. He's now sitting over 2K net with the head of the Rave King. They did not invade his triangle at all. Yeah. He was just left to his own devices forever, pretty much, since the laning phase. And he's really showing. Why Aqua and farm so fast? Like it's, it's a very scary hero if you just leave him like that. And Rave King did not go for a scaling item build. He went Omnit into Hyperstone into Blink Dagger. All right. Maybe he has some uh, new tech here that we don't know about. But usually when there's a standard build for a hero, there it's, it's a standard build for a reason. Because it is the most efficient one. Yeah. And Radiance, this game, they have a Nyx Carapace, sure, but... It's still the most efficient item for Rave King to both farm and team fight with. So I'm not sure why he opted to not go for it. Don't like it. We'll and he would just keep falling further and further behind this Arc Warden now. Like now they're on a timer. They put themselves on a timer. Yeah, all of a sudden he's 4k behind. Yeah, and just because of his item build. He could have had a Radiance almost twice already. Wow. Yeah, so a lot of troubles. Tempest double. That's good bump. 300 gold right there. Yep. He's actually going into an Agon Scepter on Lanham. The yeah. Guy, the guy's a madman. <laughs> Dude, Philosopher's Stone is all the farm he needs. Yeah. He does have, what, 36 last? No. Uh, 14. 14 last. Uh, very farmed. 1, 9, and 7. Mars picked up his BKB. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Oh. At you spotted, Dream Coil used. No He'll snap it. And yeah, well, that's just making it a little bit easier for White Album, who continues to recover in this game, almost catching up to the Doom. Yeah. I like how Asta plays around this clone. Like, they're always with the clone, pretty much. And that's one way to play with Arc Warden, you know? Like, if you don't want to join with the real hero, just make sure that the team plays around the clone, because heroes obviously always want to kill the clone. He split pushes, he's very annoying. But if there's gold. one Nyx there, 
suddenly you die because that clone deals a lot of damage. Yeah. However, they still have the threat of double doom that can always be a game winner. We just have to, you know, like see it being used once, like where it's really effective, you know. We have seen it once, but it was kind of like one fight already. Small initiation here on Mars. There's also a nasty combo to disarm and the Phantom's Embrace. Yeah, that is... It, it, those combos are just really kind of gross. Yeah. Really subtle, but when you think about it, kind of gross. Puck went for Dagon rather than just protecting his Arc Warden with like an Aghanims. Interesting choice. Doesn't strike me as a great Puck Dagon game, but we'll see what it can bottom tower make happen with it, yeah. I would love to see Nyx Assassin go shard, but that's just me. Me too. I'm surprised he didn't. He said one of the best shots in the game. And not a smoke up here. They're desperately looking for the combo, for the double doom. But Asta's not giving it to them. Bot lane getting pressured in a lot. Tower half health. I'm pretty sure they saw each other. BKB that comes out from both XSS as well as Fake doom. the doom. Yeah. They're just looking at each other. We are both golden statues. Yeah. Bottom he faked the Doom. He knows if he Dooms him, nothing really come of it. And same thing, you can't really Arena. But now Doom doesn't have BKB, they're smoking up right away. Mars without BKB is much more effective than Doom without BKB. And they're just hitting Roshan on Radiant, it's very risky. They can't do this. No way. Yeah, this one's really tough. Scotty finished also on the Arc one. He's massive at this point. Showing Monet's efficiency with the Midas, 91%. It had been on cooldown for a total of 86 seconds. Could be better. Could be better, you know? Like, when he watches a replay, he's like, ah! Could have been faster here. Could have been faster there. Whoa, that was very close with that spear. I wonder what the average is. Like, 94% or something like that? Uh, probably below 90, to be honest. Like most people are not very... Efficient? Efficient with that minus. Yeah, they're like, I have it. Gives me attack speed. Oh, it's off cooldown. Yeah, maybe I'll use it. Ooh, stun coming out out of the Doom. Dagon now. They've got the Soulbind. Can they get the Doom off? Yes, Double they doom. can. There it is. They get the kill on to X to start it off. But they get the kill on a White Album as well. Not as a deny. Item. Ooh, deny from XXX. MS moving forward, knowing that BKB. Nine seconds about to run out. The Arena as well as the Spear. But they got the stun with the Rolling Thunder coming in. Arc Warden do anything about this. They get the first life out of the hands of the Wraith King. Borex has Supernova, but immediately MS focuses his attention on that. God's Rebuke! Oh, again, a fraction of a second from going off. And that causes now XXS to die. Monet a little bit far back in that engagement. I think if he maybe moves forward when they're trying to take the egg, that goes maybe a lot more wrong for LBCS. He still get, uh, ends up getting the Grimstock. Uh, he was completely zoned by the by the Pangolin. It was a very good play by Irving. He single-handedly zoned him, basically. He made him use his clone. Oh, Lanham might be in trouble here again. Line up that two-man stun. Just that. Flap. Sash only gets one. Yeah. Uh, they have to be careful how they take these fights, because they, they were two heroes down. Even though they killed the Doom, he still got his Doom off. Yeah, and just You, you can't just end. fight 3v4. Arc Warden is strong, but he has to fight on his terms. Irving really shut him down in that fight. It was very well played by the by the Pangolier. If he's not doing what he did, probably they'll lose the fight on the Radiant because that Arc Warden puts out a lot of damage if left unchecked. Might want to think about a BKB, honestly, in that Arc Warden, just so this Pangolier is not a problem at all. Even when he rolls, you can just kill him with double BKB. Ooh, Spear connects. XSS comes in after White Albums here. Dream Coil, BKB, no Ags on White Album, so he walks away. He could have had an Ags already instead of the level 2 Dagon. I really think it would have been a much better purchase. Would have resulted in another kill right there. Because they are going to build multiple BKBs. It's never a bad item, you know. Puck yeah, Aghanims got nerfed slightly, half a second less stun, but it's still four seconds. They're getting, I mean, they're getting BKBs on a bunch of these heroes. I'm Earth, yeah. Earth Spirit, Earth Earth Spirit has, has one. He has his. Doom has his. Rave King will ultimately itemize into one. Even Pangolier is going for one. Like, you need to get that Ag on him some puck. Uh, really, I'm really shocked he doesn't have it or he's not going for it. Yeah, same. Nyx Assassin, meanwhile, still going for that Ag. <laughs> has the point booster. Uh, it has to be like a meme or something scanning. that I don't know of. 
<laughs> Falcon Blade into Axe on a plus five Nyx assassin. I'm telling you, when you said that X Nova said that somebody builds Fal Falcon Blade every game, I thought it was Lanham. I mean, it must be from what I'm seeing here. <laughs> when you said it on stream, I was just like, I think Lanham does it. Because then I think of the game right after that, he did build it. And I was just like, we see it all the time. Did he build one last game? I didn't check, actually. Possibly. Four, uh, five men smoke here from Radiant. Um, are they really going to get anything? They are putting down wards. They definitely saw it on the dire side, so... Smoke has been given away. Clone? Dumping Silent past the clone on Lanham again. Yeah, Lanham still getting bullied white album thinking about going in with BKB being popped here by X. 112. Daofu taking a lot of damage from the Tempest double. Ooh, uh, X as he jumps in. He won't pay for that aggression. Yeah. Uh, this is when Arc Warden starts becoming really damn obnoxious. Dream a white album kill? Coming through Angle and the kill on a Irving. Interesting. Not a bad move at all. Day now coming the arena in. coming through. They don't have BKB available on X. Now the silence, Icarus dive, and damage done onto the Doom to get the kill. 8k lead here for Aster. Yep. They can go for Roche off this, right? Arc Warden is just too much to deal with right now. Like, they can't jump him. But they also can't ignore him. This is the first Doom that didn't really give him anything. Yeah, the Doom went on the Mars. They are jumping on Mars right now. No BKB available. Yeah, XXS might have some distance. Ooh, getting so far away. Sunray committed from Borax. Is it going to be enough? Yes, it is. Cat U. He dies. Magnetize was used. And now they've got an MS by himself. Impale ready. First life gone, time it. soul bind, hoping to get a double stun in, but MS still dead, Supernova in, and they got the stun out of Jiao Fu. So this will end up just being a full team wipe here for Aster. Yeah, I'm not sure why they went in three versus five. Like, they chose that fight, basically. Even if they killed the Mars, they will still lose three heroes, and it's not worth it at all. Either yeah. way, they're not going to defend Roshan, you know? Like, it's not a move that's worth it, like, ever. Yeah. Very, very interesting decision making coming out here from LBZS. Maybe feeling a little bit desperate, you know, because they are quite far behind at this point. And as we said, they did not itemize to scale. Pretty much on any hero. Yeah, they're, so not like they're really all in fighting. Well. Yeah, Earth Spirit went BKB, Doom went BKB, Tango went BKB. They're all in on fighting. No Radiance, of course, and the Rave King as well. Coil again. Here's BKB now, though. Yeah, so he's just able to walk out of it where maybe if you had the Ags, that's another kill into Irving and you can push past the Tier 2, maybe to the Tier 3. Yeah, now th that's one of the cases where if you clicked on the Pangolier, you would have seen it, but it didn't. It's a sin of many players and many pro players alike. It's one of the things that I'm most aware of. I'm trying to... You're always going to click on everybody. All the time. Will make a big difference in your gameplay, guys. Free coaching here. Take it to heart. <laughs> yeah, but uh, we can see this Arc Warden, you know, too strong at this point. Building into a butterfly next. Once he has that, he's just going to kill everybody so fast. He's already doing that. And he will just get stronger. He has two more item slots to fill, a moon shot to build. Right. And they already have no here that can really deal with him. Rave King now itemizing into a BKB as well. Yeah, I mean, they still have a possibility of a double Doom, you know, on two prime targets. Maybe like Puck as well as Mars, but Puck has an Aegis to work with now. And he's now itemizing into an Aegon as well. It just feels like everything has to go right for LBZS down by this much. And one of their targets, I if it's the Arc Warden, does that matter enough? I mean, ultimately, if they can kill the Arc Warden, it's perfect for them. It's just... So hard to get on top of him. He has a Hurricane Pike with his clone. He has a Hurricane Pike on his real hero. Double Pike, you know, it's like a thousand distance. It's just incredibly hard to, to kill this Arc Warden here. Assuming they're in a good position. Of course, if they catch him out of position, they can kill him with a Doom. It's always possible. They're setting up Phoenix. over bottom. They Shiva's guard. Jiao Fu as well as X. The BKB's been popped by Doom. Not sure he really wants to go in on this. He's focusing his attention over on the Phoenix to throw the Doom. But they already got the kill on the Grimstroke, and now your BKB is over. They're trying to survive on the Phoenix as long as he can, but eventually he falls to the Doom. They'll find Irving, who rolls up. Now to the Rolling Thunder. 
He'll try to escape. Car in the back line. On the two. They don't have an arena to follow this up. They get the buyback coming in from Jiao Fu. Loser your damage from Monet. Four staff forward. Right clicks in on a MS. He's been slowed up. Gets onto the high ground, but the Tempest double doesn't quite care. He'll go up onto the high ground and now start attacking the tier three. Yep, as soon as a clone runs towards you, all you can do at this point is run away. Oh, roll in. Tempest double. Yep, 300 gold. Ooh, I don't Accepted, expired. Yeah, That's if it's bad. It. <laughs> One more level until we have the permanent Tempest double. I hate that talent. Stupid. When you think it gets patched soon? <laughs> we'll see. I mean, it is level 25, so it does, you know, need some oomph. So, maybe it's warranted, maybe not. We'll see what the Mighty Frog has to say. Oh dear, Mighty Frog. Oh, that? Well, that enemy's done it. And now he's just gonna borrow in front of the faces. He's like, what you gonna do about it? I mean, if you get doomed, you're just stuck there forever. <laughs> There's a little bug that can't move. I hope he goes shard next. Thousand gold away. Why not? Yeah, I mean, a Philosopher's Stone doing God's work for him. It's always nice to have Philosopher's Stone. Yeah. I think uh, there's no real rush for Dyer here. Irena, Irena on two. On the two, VKB's been popped by X success. They've got the Sunray right on top of the Wraith King. They'll also take out Jao Fu, who bought back in the previous engagement. Cat Yu going in with the BKB as well as the Rolling Thunder coming out from Irving. They had the Soul Mine on these heroes, but now they won't have the Double Doom available. That's a bit of a problem. And with the BKBs used, we'll see how willing Aster are to continue to go on the high ground. Yep, now it's time Double to siege the high ground. They do have Doom available, though. No grim stroke, but if Arc Warden, you know, gets a little bit cocky. Flybacks on Rolling anybody. in. Cat you with the kick. They've got the Doom out onto this Mars. Dream Coil used. They get the kill on Cat you. They'll take out XSS. So it ends up being a one for one trip with the buyback available on Earth Spirit. Cat you has buyback. We'll see if he uses it. If they'll defend the bottom set of racks. He will have to. Otherwise, they're just going to lose the side oh, of two. Silence into the stunt. Ozri Orb and the damage on the MS again, just short of getting the first life, but the uh, Spark Wraith. I'm going to toggle. Oh, close. In fact, I could almost forgot to do it. <laughs> it got pretty close. Can't use in the trees. Radiant's Hoping to maybe catch someone out again. And there's so many Spark Wraiths all around. Like, when Arc One starts sieging your base, it's so obnoxious to fight them through all these ghosts everywhere. You gotta hate it. You love to hate it. Now he's going eggs on the puck. Yeah, almost complete Daedalus picked up on Arc Warden. Needs just another 500 gold. Maybe he'll just sell his Midas for it, you know? And then he really packs a punch. He's going to crit for about eight 900 with both his hero and the clone. He's now 13k net with a head of the Rave King. Easy. He's massive. <laughs> oh my god, almost 31,000. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> You know, the power of Arc Warden. Left unchecked for too long. Do you get your greedy Mjolnir Midas travels up? Unchecked. Easy. Five man smoke up here from Dyer. And they have the Puck Agonims. They have four BKBs on Radiant. And if you get a really good coil on multiple heroes, it's rendered useless. Axe being built there by the Doom. See uh, how that works out. Four X. Doom applies break and reduces cooldown. Thank God's Rebuke, not gonna land. Let's see, Spear out. This hero is just trying to defend as best they can. It's not the quick siege coming out from Aster just yet. Waiting on maybe the next items. Could be waiting on the next Roche as well. Yeah, I did really in, in no rush at all. Webler. <laughs> okay. Hand that over to the Arc Warden. Yeah. Always a great item to siege base. Always a great item. Wow, his cooldown efficiency is now 85%. Wasted time 230 seconds. Oh, what no, are you that's doing? That's MS, it's 85. What are you doing? Okay. Telescope. Oh, I like that for Aster. Give that to the next assassin. But no, Spell Prism. I think Arc Warden would rather have that one. Oh, Jump they're in, looking. Doom. They found Borax. I don't think they want to commit the Doom here onto the Phoenix. They have the lockdown. 
Easy kill, the three-man dream coil. They've it's got an axe coil. this time. They wish they had the supernova. They'll find the first kill onto the Wraith King with the BKB beam pop here by XXS. Spear hits onto the Wraith King. It doesn't actually hit onto X. And on the back lines, they've got Ketu as well as Irving coming through with the Rolling Thunder as well as the Magnetize. But Supernova laid down. It's buyback is finally available for Borax. They've got the Soulbound under the Puck as well as the Mars. They're chasing. They're trying to get a kill here on MS. They'll find him for the second time. He's the only one who ends up dead on LBZS and gone for 94 seconds without buyback. And that's everything expended pretty much. And Roche is up. They didn't use Doom. They did not use Doom. That is true. And uh, they don't have uh, Grimstroke ult though. And it's probably just going to be high ground here. Permanent Tempest double up, level 25. Very hard to defend now. You don't have a Rave King, you're having a massive attack of damage. You're rolling in. And yeah, they're going to go in, they'll use that Doom. That's out on the bars. But they get a kill on a cat. You, they look over to everyone's BKB pop of the damage coming in for the Arc Warden is more than enough to get right through this Doom. Look over at the Pangolier and send him back. Three heroes dead, two without buyback. There go your racks up top. And not a deny. That's the fourth of the game. No doom deaths here. Digging in next to the tower. Spike Carapace comes in, stunned from a long range away from it, from Lanham. That impale range is ridiculous. Rolling in. Yeah, rolling thunder with Blink Dagger. Coming through is the Doom with the Ink Swell. Oh, okay, you kill the Nyx Assassin, but now what do you do from here? He's going to buy back. Aqua damage, they have boom. no Mars, but it's not mattering. They get the kill there onto the Doom. They'll take him out again. Down goes Jiao Fu. Four heroes dead on the side of LBZS, and they still don't have the Wraith King alive for another nine seconds. You're without the Doom for 100. You're without a lot of these heroes for quite some time. And GG. Yeah, LBZS, they'll call GG. Aster take the series 2-0, and they continue their perfect run in the Chinese DPC. Yeah, to no surprise, really. Um, 